Welcome to the One Funnel Away Challenge, Week 1, Mission 2. Uh, we are calling this, what, the Greatest Showman? Okay, so this uh, this challenge requires that you uh, create your own offer based on a product that you have laying around your house somewhere, or, uh, you know, really they didn't, you know, they said that, but I think you could do it with anything. Um, the, the first things that I was thinking about selling with this, I, I was really having a hard time creating an offer around. So then I went with something a lot simpler. It is, it is something that I have laying around the house. It is something that I actually do want to sell. And um, it is something that is going to be a little bit higher ticket. And uh, it's actually kind of useful for me to, to think about it like this. And um, I, you know, it could actually help me sell this item when the time comes for me to actually put some work into selling it. So uh, what it is, is um, the item that I wanna sell, the item in my core offer. All right, let's go back to the, all right, so. Uh, the something in my house to sell is a hammered dulcimer. So if you don't know what a hammered dulcimer is, you can go look it up on Google and <laughs> Uh, it's basically a musical instrument with uh, tons of strings that you strike with a little wooden hammer to produce uh, a sound. Um, and it's kind of a plinky, plunky sound. It's, you know, it's used in like some Asian um, cultures as a musical instrument and more folk uh, kind of stuff. Uh, not like a rock and roll instrument or anything like that. So if it's not your jam, it's not your jam, but some people like it. Uh, so the story on these is that my dad made them for a little while. He's a cabinet maker and he um, discovered them and decided they were kind of like a small cabinet with strings attached and decided he wanted to try to his hand at making them. Well, he made a whole bunch, but um, and then he tried to sell them, but I think that uh, as far as um, the the price he was charging, maybe it was a little bit high, or just he wasn't creating a good offer, or he just wasn't a good salesman, he wasn't good at closing. So uh, we, you know, produced maybe ten or fifteen of them, or he produced ten or ten or fifteen of them or so, and you know, sold maybe like half of them. But then now we've got several of them still lying around the house you know 20 years later <laughs> so uh you can imagine right now they're not the, not in the best of condition so i think one of the things that needs to happen is i need to actually put some time and work into tuning them so they're they are actually playable um but um you know uh that uh that's all just unrelated to this challenge right so assume we have a decent product to sell a tuned hammer dulcimer uh what are the false beliefs the false beliefs i don't know how to play it i'm not musical i don't know where i'd put it i don't know how to tune it uh, i don't have rhythm and will it look good in my house now those are all pretty valid uh if you don't have rhythm it's kind of hard because you know you need some rhythm to play music if you say i'm not musical um yeah, you, you know, you, would, you, you you need to be kind of musical, right? Well, <clears throat> the thing is that just like everything else, you know, music is something that you learn uh, through time and repetition and, and trial and error. So, um, you know, that's, that's something that we would have to kind of deal with as like a mindset issue. But a, a lot of these we can kind of solve with a little bonus stack. So... Uh, let's see, using that product or book as a launching pad and the false beliefs that your buyer might have, brainstorm a bunch of other products that could go with your core product. Once we have a list, we're ready to choose the best of them to create an offer. So as far as written word goes, I wrote down a, a book or an ebook on hammered dulcimers, maybe just like um, something talking about the, the history of them or, uh, you know, just like something going over what they are. It could be a very, very simple uh, book or ebook. Probably ebook is the preferable way to go. Uh, then a book or ebook on how to play a hammer dulcimer. A book or ebook on popular or easy songs to play on the hammer dulcimer. Um, I think that like Joy to the World was 
one of the the songs that was like super easy to play on the on the hammer dulcimer. <clears throat> so there are probably a couple of songs that are pretty simple. Anyway, um, spoken word. Well, I don't think the spoken word here is necessarily the right thing. I think maybe audio, um, just in general. So I wrote down like some hammer dulcimer music, maybe kind of get people inspired to play. Uh, and then physical products. Uh, this is key. It is a physical product. We could throw in some other physical products into the stack. So uh, a carrying case for the hammer dulcimer. The hammers that you need to actually play it with could maybe include two two pairs. Uh, a tuning fork, the electric tuning fork, so that when people want to tune their the the dulcimer, they have the the actual electronic tuner to play it. And then a stand to put the dulcimer on. It's a pretty big kind of heavy thing um, and then the miscellaneous products well I'm kind of surprised they didn't have video in here at all but uh, videos of hammer dulcimer players uh, so maybe just like performances hammer dulcimer performances a video training course on how to play the hammer dulcimer I think this is better than the ebook right because people learn better when they are engaged more so this would engage visual audio and uh, you know they could maybe even imagine playing it so they have feeling behind it uh, video training on how to tune it uh, it's not quite that easy okay so what false belief or objection does it crush well I think that that pretty much handles all of them I don't know how to play it I'm not musical I don't know how to tune it um, I don't have rhythm. Actually, I don't have rhythm we could solve if I included maybe like, um, what's that product that has a, it's a um, t -t 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 timer. Um, I'm having trouble thinking of the word, the thing that the drummers use to uh, metronome. There we go. Um, so, you know, maybe we could include like a really basic metronome with this too to help them with their rhythm. Um, so those are so those are some some of the different things that could go with it. Okay, so you see you see how this is building up. We've got a lot of different things we can go with it, um, and then you know what can we what what can we do to sell this? Okay, so uh, going going back to your co uh, core offer stack now. In this case, I think because my item is a little bit larger, it is a little bit more high high ticket um, already. I mean, I think that a lot of dulcimers out there sell for three to five hundred dollars, and maybe even upwards of a thousand dollars. These these are very old, and I really do just want to get rid of them. So I can't imagine selling them for quite that much. But when you include everything, then maybe. But really, I just want to get rid of it. So I might just do all of this for steel, whatever I can get away with. So it's going to kind of depend on. And again, I really probably am going to put this offer out there at some, <laughs> to, to someone. Um, so our core, core product, hammer dulcimer. The add-on product, the hammer dulcimer stand or case or both. Uh, I'm not sure how many of the stands I have. I know I've got cases for um, some of them. I have both a hard or a soft case. So that can add on to the perceived value or subtract from the perceived value, depending on if it's a hard case or a soft case but the, the cases themselves are pretty expensive. So, um, you know, bring the, uh, the, the price up a little bit. Okay, so the, the bonus products are uh, dulcimer hammers, uh, of course, like the little physical product and possibly the metronome. Um, if I can find like a cheap one, I would, I would be down for that. Or uh, if, if I could find a cheap tuner, then that would be great too. Uh, bonus number two, uh, I, I think that uh, creating the video course on playing the dulcimer, I, I'm not positive that there's YouTube videos out there, but maybe I could find some or, no, I couldn't create some because I'm not a very good dulcimer player, but maybe I can find a video course out there. And if not, then I'm sure I can find a, an ebook to include. So one of those. Uh, and then bonus number three, an ebook on best dulcimer songs. Um, so, and I think that I would go ahead and include some of the other bonuses that I've talked about um, before. So maybe, um, uh, maybe besides just an ebook on best dulcimer songs, I might include, you know, the uh, videos of hammer dulcimer players and some kind of curated list. Um, the, uh, 
uh, you know, some, some maybe like a curated list of, of just music performances from the, from the dulcimer. Uh, and if I could find a, a cheap or free uh, ebook or site on, on dulcimer, I'd kind of like throw that all in. And, um, okay. So then the last, the last part of the, uh, of the exercise is to pitch a family member or friend. Well, I don't really necessarily have anyone around here to pitch, so I haven't, but, uh, you know, if I told you that I could get you a beautiful new hammer dulcimer, a, uh, very unique instrument and you would be able to learn it quickly because I'm going to include a video training course and uh, the hammers, a case, and a stand, and uh, a book on all of the best dulcimer songs. And that a hammer dulcimer by itself usually goes for $500 and the stand usually goes for $150 and the the hammers themselves are usually anywhere from 19 to $49 and the video course is worth $39 and the uh, ebook on the best dulcimer songs is usually $19 um, wouldn't you say that all of that is worth 497 I think so so I'll, I'll keep a keep updated on this and see it and see how this goes um but yeah that's it that's my that's my offer stack so uh if you're doing this challenge and you um are having little problems maybe maybe pick a different product but you know if you look at the steve's training for today it's um you know he, he usually picks like something really simple like shirt or socks or something like that and creates an offer around them I always find the the things that he comes up with to be a little bit cheesy. I mean, most of the time people just want, when they want to buy a shirt, they just go buy a shirt. But yeah, you know, he's he's just using that as a tool to show you, um, hey, we can, we can. These are the kinds of deals that, that you can think of when um, you're selling a shirt. These are these are the pain points. These are the things that you might have to encounter. So. If you think about that for any product that you're trying to sell, you can help yourself to sell that product better because when you know what pain points your customers are going to be uh, encountering, what, what, what new problems you're, you're causing for them, if you can help them solve them ahead of time, then you're going to be able to help yourself sell a lot better. All right, so do this exercise. Uh, if you get stuck with one product, change it up go go do something else you know sell uh, a coffee mug or uh, sell your TV sell uh, you know uh, a laundry basket I'm just looking around and saying things right now obviously but um, you know I could I can think of a whole bunch of things for 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 all of those those different things so a bunch of different uh, bonus products that you could that you could add in. I mean, if you sell a coffee mug, well, what do you put in it? Well, you could uh, include a sampler pack of five teas and uh, a small pouch of coffee. And uh, you could, uh, I use a little Melita uh, cone uh, coffee maker instead of using a big coffee maker to just make coffee by the cup. You could include one of those, they're pretty cheap. Um, you know, and you could like in include all these different physical products as well as some information products like uh, what makes a good cup of coffee or, you know, how to make the perfect cup of tea, um, you know, teas from around the world, uh, coffee from around the world, the background, the history of coffee, all this other stuff, and take this simple, you know, $15 mug and, uh, you know, $15 Melita coffee filter and pump the perceived value up on it and make it like uh you know a forty dollar product instead because you're you're bundling everything so um practice doing this is with with everything you see really and start thinking about how you can create an offer around something okay uh i've gone really long talking about all this so uh, I'm going to stop this video now and I'm going to start working on the next challenge because I'm way behind. So uh, 
if you guys are working on the One Funnel Away Challenge, remember, you're just one funnel away. Peace.